I drank only water for 20 days, shocking results. Water only fasting is becoming increasingly popular, and the reason, let's be honest, we all know, to lose weight quickly. Water fasting is extremely effective. Studies tell us that you can lose up to 1 kilogram, 2.2 pounds, per day practicing this technique. Fasting has many benefits, it stimulates autophagy, the production of stem cells, reduces the risk of degenerative diseases and cancers. Yet this practice can also have negative consequences and hidden dangers that, if you don't know about, you could suffer from. If you appreciate the video, we invite you to subscribe to our channel and support us with a donation. Thanks to your help, we will be able to continue producing high-quality content and constantly improving our channel. You can do it here below, through the appropriate buttons, subscribe, and, thanks. In this video, we're going to look together at the benefits of doing a water fast, but we'll also understand what the negative consequences are and what types of people shouldn't do this practice. It was already practiced in ancient times for religious reasons, but today more and more people are approaching this method to lose weight, to have better health, to detoxify, or simply to prepare for a medical procedure. All of these are excellent reasons, and fasting seems to be the ideal tool because several studies have shown how it reduces the risks of diabetes, reduces the risk of cancer, and the risk of heart disease. At the base of all these benefits, research has shown autophagy to be present, which, as the word says, means self-eating, precisely because when you're fasting, your body breaks down those old senescent cells, burning them and using them as energy, and then promoting the creation of new, healthier, and younger cells. To date, however, most studies on autophagy and fasting are done on animals, on laboratory mice, and so we have little information about this method on humans, making it still a practice to be done only and exclusively under medical control or by a nutritionist. There are indeed categories of people, such as diabetics, people with thyroid problems, or people with eating disorders, who should absolutely avoid fasting. The most studied and analyzed water-only fast is the one from 1 to a maximum of 3 days, and this type of fast can indeed bring several benefits. The first benefit I want to talk to you about is the hormonal one because a water-only fast of 1 or 3 days can sensitize your body to leptin and insulin. These two hormones play an essential role in your metabolism. Insulin helps your body store and effectively use blood sugars, while leptin helps your body feel full and satisfied. Being able to increase the sensitivity of your cells to these two hormones means having a direct effect on blood sugar. When your body, through insulin, is able to transport sugars from the bloodstream into cells, then you'll also see your metabolism accelerate because the cells will know how to burn sugars optimally. As a consequence, you could also see a normalization of blood sugar, which is often a common problem today that leads to various symptoms. If you are interested in understanding what the symptoms of high blood sugar are, click right up here because I've made a video where I explain the 10 most common symptoms when you have too high sugar levels in your blood. As you can understand, if you're more sensitive to leptin, which makes you feel fuller and more satisfied, you'll reduce your calorie intake without even realizing it because you'll easily eat many fewer foods than before. The second benefit of water fasting is the reduction of cardiovascular diseases and lowering of blood pressure. Two studies mainly show us how doing this fast can bring benefits. In the first study, 68 people were followed through a fast for 14 days. There was a need for medical supervision, at the end of which, however, all participants had on average a reduction in systolic and diastolic pressure of about 20 points for systolic and 7 for diastolic, thus making this approach extremely effective in people who have borderline pressure and would like to reduce it without drugs. In the second study, 174 people were taken in under medical control, they were made to fast for 10 or 11 days. At the end of the fast, 90% of the participants had pressure returned to normal and on average, they had lost about 37 points in systolic pressure, that is, the higher one. The third benefit is that derived from the reduction of the risk of cardiovascular diseases and chronic problems. 
In fact, just a 24-hour fast is enough to see blood triglyceride and cholesterol levels lowered, thus reducing the risk of cardiovascular problems such as stroke or heart attack. Animal studies have also shown that water fasting lowers the risk of heart damage due to free radicals, free radicals which, according to various theories, are the basis of aging and cellular degeneration. In the same studies, it was shown how fasting can suppress those genes that promote the proliferation of tumors and also makes drugs more effective when the person is undergoing chemotherapy. Despite the fact that most studies are done on animals, the practice of fasting seems to have very, very promising results. However, there are things, considerations to make before starting to do it without medical consultation and doing it yourself. The first of the risks you can have doing water-only fasting is that of dehydration, and it seems a bit of a contradiction, yet we know that most, about 30% of the water you ingest, is through foods. So you could easily encounter symptoms of dehydration such as nausea, vomiting, and dizziness if you don't increase your water intake to also cover the need you would normally have through foods. Among the most common undesirable effects is also orthostatic hypotension, that is, that sudden drop in pressure when you stand up that can lead you to faint, fall, or anyway have dizziness. For this reason, it is not recommended for those who do a water-only fast to do heavy work or any way to drive, and certainly your physical performance will be reduced when you start fasting. Some medical conditions, in addition, can have a worsening during fasting. We know, for example, the case of gout, in which fasting can increase uric acid levels, leading you to a greater risk of having painful attacks. For example, also diabetes. A person with type 1 and 2 diabetes can encounter risks when fasting precisely because their body is not very capable of controlling insulin and blood sugars. Making this sudden change can suddenly throw off their metabolism and homeostasis, creating a conflict with drugs and then having serious consequences. Finally, one of the main problems of fasting, particularly in young adults, is that of increasing the risk of eating disorders those known as bulimia or anorexia. Studies show that practicing this fast can facilitate the induction of wrong eating behaviors precisely in young adults and is therefore not recommended to be proposed to people under 30 years old. This last aspect, which concerns a now established psychiatric pathology, is actually one of the most widespread problems even in common people who suffer from neither bulimia nor anorexia. It is often found that many people approach these one or three day water only fasts for the simple reason of losing weight, forgetting, however, that their health does not depend simply on how much weight they lose, but above all on the quality of what they eat. The fasting tool can therefore be effective because it quantitatively reduces calories, leading you to quick and immediate changes. If, however, it is not followed by nutritional education in which the person also understands what to eat, what is good for them and what is not good for them, the consequence will be the famous yo-yo effect in which you lose weight quickly but regain it with interest later. Fasting, therefore, is a weapon that can become extremely dangerous if used with the simple purpose of losing a few pounds before the holidays. It is much, much more important and effective to start a nutritional education path in which you will learn to eat those healthy foods that will lead you to lose weight progressively, but above all in which you will learn to change your habits so as not to return to eating those foods that make you gain weight. Is it worth doing longer fasts, going beyond 3 days? Or even reaching 20 days as in the title of the video? Absolutely not. The risks of such a long fast are much greater than the benefits. Today we have developed extremely effective diets that mimic fasting even though you can eat various foods. The famous fasting mimicking diet by Voltaire Longo, which if you're interested in knowing in depth you can find by clicking up here, is a diet that lasts a maximum of 5 days but that doesn't completely eliminate food and what you eat but that allows you to eat some amounts of food to have the same benefits of fasting without, however, suffering from nutritional deficiencies. If your fast is prolonged for too long, you will certainly encounter important nutritional deficiencies that could affect both a person who already has problems, for example, with thyroid, 
but also a healthy person who wants to be well and who does this type of approach to be well. As with all things, too much is too much, and the truth lies in the middle, in balance, and so practicing a fast for one or three days periodically can certainly be a useful stratagem to improve your metabolic flexibility, that is, the ability of your body to adapt to situations and learn to use not only carbohydrates but also reserve fats. When, however, this fast is prolonged for too long, you end up having such great losses and negative effects that it's not worth it. The main one of which is also known as refeeding syndrome, that is, risk related to the fact that if you don't eat for too long, you could create a negative response and your body no longer accept what you're introducing. Since this is a syndrome that is very difficult to cure, to manage, it's better not to incur the potential risk of developing it by reducing to a maximum of 3 days of water fasting or if you want to go beyond, reach up to 5 days but with Voltaire Longo's fasting mimicking diet. I invite you, before doing a water fast of 1 or 3 days, to improve your food competence to understand which foods are suitable to eat every day that control your blood sugar, that nourish your microbiota and make you feel good leading you to a weight loss without risk and always keeping the essential nutrients for your health at optimal levels. If you want to try the practice of fasting, maybe start with intermittent fasting in which you simply skip a meal a day but you don't have the risk of having nutritional deficiencies as you would instead when you get to do 3 days of fasting. If you've already tried to do prolonged fasts, if you've already done intermittent fasting or water fasting of 1 or 3 days, Feel free to comment below to share with everyone what your experiences, benefits, or undesirable effects were. If you have doubts, if you have needs, always, always, always consult your doctor or a nutritionist. They are optimal figures to start a path of this type and in a short time will provide you with all the skills to have a better relationship with your diet and your body. We'll see you tomorrow with another video. Bye and thank you. We are interested in discovering your personal experience on the topic. Write it in the comments and feel free to ask any questions, we will be happy to interact. Feel free to leave a comment so that we can improve the content. Your like would be the cherry on top, and click subscribe to stay informed about upcoming publications.